Oh, uh, really? Terrible tennis. You're a big no one guy? Oh, ping no, pong. I'll put money on it. Nobody can be me table tennis. I'll put money on it. I'll put my whole life savings on it. I would have been a table tennis player. But thousand dollars on it. That this guy cannot beat me a table tennis. <laughs> now we're one week out. It's been a long seven, eight weeks, so yeah, we're all pretty excited for, for next Wednesday. Definitely good to be back and reinvigorated to get stuck into training. So I've seen this course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so at the moment, uh, we do have scouts coming in. So far, we've had the Denver Broncos, we've had the Dallas Cowboys, we've had the Cleveland Browns, and we've had the Jacksonville Jaguars. Pretty surreal. And like, this is actually, this is it. People want to be on their best performance, giving them that wow factor. A few months ago, some of them have never put on a helmet before, and now we have personnel directly from NFL teams excited to take a look at these guys. I think it's made it feel a lot more real for the players. It's made them feel like we're officially on display right now. So you're looking at the, the athletic traits and how they can translate to the NFL ultimately. You get it right, you know, you can end up with guys like Jordan Mylata and F.A. Obada, for example. The consensus so far from the teams, I've had a number of them say, this is the best college visit we've ever done. You know, just seeing how big really Byron is as a human compared to other regular looking humans humans and you and to, to hear his punch on the bag when he's striking the bag. Come on, get there, get there, get there, get there, huh? Yeah, I had a few interviews this week which which went really well with a few teams, so um, you know, I, I'm looking forward to, to next Wednesday and being able to put on a show for for a lot more scouts and, and see what happens from there. There is a fascination with really the molds of clay that are here. You know, coming from different sports, they haven't learned any bad football habits. Now that the program is bigger than it's ever been. No one wants to be lost. They want to get here and from the first visit to the last visit, people have been saying to me, who else has been here? You know, they're all trying to compete with each other. So us breeding that competition within the teams and between the teams, I think helps our case as well. Good work, bro. That was quick as nice. I think you four, four, six. Yes, four, four, four. That was clean. That was nice. Oh, that's my roomie. <laughs> and mine too. <laughs> and mine as well. <laughs> It's been a really hard slog the last couple of weeks, and I think the last two weeks in particular, and it's really easy to forget how far we've come. So we're all going to participate in this. Everyone has got reps that I'm going to bring up right now. Flow. Where's flow? Flow. This is week. This is week one. Flow. Right now. Stop off the line. Struggling to keep balance. Have a lot of issues week one. I feel like with just staying on your feet. Fortunately, that's culminated in week seven. Flow. Much smoother. Better pad level, staying friendly, aggressive hands, good finish, north south. Um, yeah, I feel like I feel like I've grown as a person, but also as, as an athlete as well. Just like you can look back at sort of your footage from the first week to where it is now, and and it's it's quite remarkable to see the progress like everyone's made, and just look back and and see for yourself sort of how far you've come, rather than focusing on on like what could be, just like really appreciate yourself and and look at your body changing and the way that your mind changes and how you how you can perform on the field like compared to seven weeks ago. So that's something for me which I feel like is really important to sort of appreciate. So Praise and Lewis are going head to head at the moment at 22.4 and that was from one session last week and that was uh, from a flying 20. So we haven't really seen them open up fully, you know, go full gas on a, on a 40 yard yet. So we're really excited about that. I'd like to see them compete with the top guys that were running in, in Indianapolis a few weeks ago at the Combine. I think they'll speak for themselves on the day. I think there's five of our guys that had topped um, 20 miles an hour and that included a couple of the linemen. So to see guys that size um, breaking 20 miles an hour is quite phenomenal. So again, excited, not just for the positional players, but some of these linemen who are gonna dazzle the scouts with their speed. What the? Probably get some David Attenborough shit on that. Here we have the wild white animal. <laughs> Nothing like that, probably get a pigeon. Seagull here and there. <laughs> that. That is not dangerous though. Bird is very majestic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me and George, me and George are quite close. We flew out together from Heathrow. Uh, we've been friends throughout the program. We kind of do everything together really. I mean, can't not call him, but he's like he's probably one of my best friends, do you know what I mean? Because I spend every day with him and eat with him and hot tub with him and swim with him and gym with him. So um 
yeah, good guy and really glad that I met him. Oh, so close. Give me another week recovery and I'll be there. George is a warrior. I mean, I'd go to war with that guy in a heartbeat. He is tough as nails. He's gained a significant amount of weight to bulk up to play the position of offensive tackle. And so he's kind of learning how to live in a new body and he's doing it very well. The team that gets him is just going to be very, very surprised and fortunate. He has a lot to bring to the table, a lot. Trav, in many ways, he's just walked off the street and someone who came into this without that pro sport background, who had to learn how to build routine, had to learn how to look after his body, all those things. I'm fully convinced if Travis grew up in the US, he'd be a first round draft pick. He has all the physical traits that he could do something like that. Uh, it was just about finding the correct sport and putting my mind 100% into something. And every time he can be in the books, he is. So it's, it's been good. I think he's invested in wanting to be a student of the game, which he's going to have to be. I tell you what, without this, you ain't gonna get nowhere in the NFL, man. So today we heard from George, Byron, Pat, and Flo come in and take time out of their day to give back, to make time for, for our athletes, middle school and high school athletes, to give back to them, to mentor them. But they're gonna do it. They're gonna be on one of those 32 teams coming up here. I know it. I went to college, uh, played rugby. I got picked up professionally, played three years professionally. Um, a lot of knowledge being passed down through generations and generations knowing that they're not from the, uh, the state, so it's, it's great. You know, everybody come from a different background, you know, and, and uh, they give giving back that knowledge, so I love it. Yeah, I think being an Englishman going into American football definitely motivates myself more. And if anyone looks down on us and saying that English people can't do it, to show them that we can, and then hopefully in years to come there'll be many, many English people playing in the NFL. Oh, no, 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 no. This guy's a liar. I swear. Big Afro beats liar. This guy doesn't know shit. Bro, he puts on the most basic Afro beats ever. Me? Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah, liar. <laughs> so easy to wind up. Yeah, I think the culture shock for Sam and Isaac. Um, started with the weather. Florida's not warm enough for them. It's not Nigeria. The biggest one for them, I think, after that was the food. I'm adjusting to American food and nothing is spicy enough for Isaac. I, and I try and I try and I try. We go to Walmart, we'll go and get sauces, we'll do whatever we can. Nothing is spicy enough for Isaac. So um, I think I'm just gonna have to take a loss on that one. I think what's helped us is having our alumni come back. A lot of them are from Nigeria and they've come back and they've shared their stories and what worked for them and helped them. And It's really nice to see somebody that came through the program I came through through Nigeria. It's really nice. Um, and I can see they're doing great. You saw those today. You got dehydrated easily. Look at that tan line right here. Look at that. That's what Florida does to you. That's Mr. Incredible. That's Mr. Incredible right there. <laughs> Young, it's the brownest I've been in my whole life. Yeah, so Pro Day is the 20th of March. They're going to do everything they can to showcase the work they've been doing over the last eight or nine weeks. Um, and then the next day, Thursday the 21st, free agency is open and teams are free to sign our free agents and start to fly them into their buildings, start to meet with them, talk to me, talk to their representation. At this point, everything gets a little bit hotter, it gets a little bit more interesting. Uh, I think we're going to be living in a very different world in 10 days time from the one we're living in now, but we're all for it and we're ready for it. I don't think you can physically get prepped in 10 weeks to be an NFL player, do you know what I mean? Kids, kids have been doing this since they were like 10. We're here because teams are gonna want us because they feel like they can get us ready for the NFL. For a number of weeks they felt really tired and they've been in the grind of camp and they've been trying to get to the other end of this and we've just been saying to them, trust us. This program makes you feel things which you never, like I never felt before. Feeling like you're not, you're not enough, but then again like the next day you might have amazing day training, do you know what I mean? So it's like, it's so up and down like a roller coaster. We were planning this camp so that your bodies would peak on one day, and that one day is the 20th of March, 2024. And so what has become tiredness, what has become soreness as we close out on week eight, is now they're starting to feel a little bit fresher. They're starting to get a little bit more sleep than they were getting, so that we're just holding them back, we're holding them back, and then on Wednesday we let them go, and we let them loose. Last chance to like, kind of clean some things up. Pretty strong, pretty like Superman. 
Jai, you gotta wear those uh, rugby shorts on pro day. You look fast in those. Yeah, there's an excitement, there's nerves. It's everything we've been working for. Um, my message to the group this entire time is don't put your head up. Focus on today, 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 today. And for the first time in eight weeks, I'm starting to tell them to look up and I'm starting to tell them to look at something that's ahead of them um, and getting themselves mentally, emotionally, physically prepared for what's gonna be a really big day for the program, for them, but also a really enjoyable day. You know, you don't get an opportunity like this very often. Sunday, everyone's getting haircuts. Bullshit filters on high. Okay, especially as we go into this weekend, lots of distractions, lots of people asking questions. How's it gonna go? I've got media requests coming in. I don't care. What's important right now? There's so much pressure on next week. It is gonna be tough. Are you gonna perform under the pressure or are you gonna crumble? There's a lot of like, kids looking up to them, families back home, friends. Their country is really the representative. It has to be all they've got, has to be. It can't be nothing less. We have one time to show off to all 32 scouts exactly what we got. This is literally do or die. It has to happen. There's no other plan for this. This has to work out. It all comes down to next Wednesday, um, you know, pro day at USF, and, you know, we're all ready to put on the show. Come on, no one, leave on forgetting. That's it. One, two, three! Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no! 3 1. Nervous game. Nervous game. That's the beer. Yeah. That's. Give me that money, baby! <laughs> <laughs> That's some, yeah, shake my hand. 21-5. It's a bit of a humiliation phrase. <laughs> what have you got to say about it, man? Nah, it is what it is, man. <laughs> we're, 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 we're just looking forward to Wednesday, you know? Just performing well at our pro day.